Hey, what's up? Jesse Minch with GetHandles.com. Got some more basketball answers for you guys today. Uh, today's question comes from AJ from Chennai, Tamil Nadu, India. Hopefully, I probably butchered that name. I'm sorry, man, <laughs> but I tried my best. Okay, um, so anyways, this question is, how to escape from the defender to uh, create space from the defender in simple steps? Um, I kind of I kind of hit on this on a previous question, but I'm going to kind of come back to it. Um, really, creating space in basketball comes down to, there's a lot of different factors that you can use to, to, to fake a defender, but the main thing you want to focus on is your body and your feet, because that's what's going to dictate what makes a defender move. If you're moving the ball way out here and stuff, you can sometimes get away with using that to fake a defender, you know, faking a pass and things of that nature. But if you really want the defender to move with you, you need to move. Um, so a lot of things you can do is to, you know, deceive them into thinking maybe moving, you know, more than you're going to. You could just take a real quick, short jab step to this direction, right? And your defender might think you're about to make a huge move in this direction, and that'll make him move more than you're actually intending on moving. And now you have space right back here just by taking a quick step back or driving to the lane. So a lot of it, once again, is going to come down to footwork. Whether you're dribbling the ball, whether you're holding onto the ball in your triple threat position, um, it's going to come down to your footwork and, and using your body to make the defender think that you're moving. So, you know... If you want to, again, I'm going to kind of hit on some of the points that I hit on with the previous video. If you want to hit, you know, get an open jump shot, you could jab forward, step back, and then shoot. Or you could just step back and shoot if you don't think your defender is going to come back on you. So it really depends on reading your defender and how they're playing you, how they're going to react to your moves, and kind of figuring that out. But at the end of the day, it comes down to your footwork and making them think that you're going somewhere that you're not. It's all deception. Uh, so... If you guys got any questions for me, I will not deceive you. I will give you a straightforward answer. Uh, make sure you head over to facebook.com slash get handles. I'll, uh, you know, if you got a question, just put it on the wall there and I'll try to get as many as I'm ans answered as I can for you guys. Uh, if you enjoyed the video and it found it helpful, hit the thumbs up button for me. Hit the subscribe button down below. And, of course, head over to gethandles.com. Like I always say, I got a free ball handling workout there for you. If you have not got it yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. You need to get it. And uh, I got a free ball handling guide for you there too, plus daily tips. I mean, you can't go wrong. Um, but anyways, that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. I'll come at you guys with some more videos.